everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am working in Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford and I'm going to be tackling this little page of, I don't know, are they tickets? I think they're tickets or what almost look like little stamps. So just because I've got very limited time and this one I will definitely have time to do the whole thing with you guys. I will be using my Faber-Castell Polychromos for this and I'm also using my Sakura Jelly Roll and a Derwent Blender Pencil. So let's get started. I've chosen to do a very earthy colour palette for this little piece here. I'm going to do the little mushroom so I'm going to be using all these sort of warm earthy reds, some of the ochres and I'm thinking of doing sort of the, some of the earthy greens as well for the background. So I'm hoping not to take too much more than maybe 50 minutes so <laughs> I have a very limited time today so let's see how fast we can get this done.
So as you can see to start with, I've gone in darker around sort of the inner part of this sort of frame. I'm going to now add in a little bit of the light yellow ochre just to the outside. I just think it blends in really, really nicely with the India red. I will be adding some other colours on top as well, just to darken and lighten certain areas. But I think this is going to look really nicely blended together. enjoying this cap at Mortem lately. I'm loving it as part of like a shaded area, especially on top of reds and purple tones. I find it just gives that little bit more darkness and without adding in a really bright color. So I find this works in really well on top of this India red, just around this edge here where I kind of want things to be a little bit darker.
So I'm going to go in now with my Venetian Red and just sort of blending it in this area in between the darker and my lighter shades. And I'm going in relatively light here. I can always add in more later. And I'm not touching the very edges where I've got that ochre tone layered on top of the um, India Red. Just going to add in now an extra layer of the light yellow ochre and just to sort of darken it up a little bit and make that color a little bit more prominent i find it looks look at that it blends in so nicely and i just love that sort of color combination i know you guys that have been following me a while know that this is probably my favorite color palette and i've been trying lately to maybe push myself and do some different things but i keep wanting to come back to this kind of style and it's really sort of i think i think it's sort of what i tend to morph towards when i don't really know what else to do it's, it's i don't know is it my safe zone i don't know do you guys have a safe color palette that you guys love to do when you don't really know what else to do let me know in the comments below what you what you guys tend to drift towards when you are picking your colors and while you're at it if you are enjoying this video i'd love it if you take the time to give it a thumbs up it does really help with the engagement and pushing the video out to a wider audience and if you're new here i'd love to have you subscribe it's so exciting to see all you new people joining in on the channel and 
I really appreciate you all being here. And just to make sure that you get notified, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. That way, YouTube will let you know whenever I post new content. I'm going to get started now with a little mushroom in the center so I'm going to start out with my caput mortem again and just map out my shaded areas so I want to have the highlight down the center of this mushroom so I'm just going to go in with the caput mortem around the very edges and down the very bottom of that little mushroom cap Working with my India Red now, I'm just going to work my way in a little bit more. I'll layer it on top of the Caput Mortem first and then bring it in a little bit further towards the center. I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing now with the Venetian red and then I'm going to go in with my light yellow ochre as well down the very center of the mushroom cap and then just overlapping with the Venetian red just a little bit. I'm just going to go in now a little bit with my red violet. Unfortunately, I've gotten to the time of day where the sun just goes in through the window. It's sort of a late afternoon here in Australia and the sun is setting and it's really annoying. I usually don't color at this point, but I was interrupted for a little while and I couldn't finish when I was first started out coloring. So I'm kind of have to quickly finish this off in this sort of slightly weirder lighting just so I can have a video up for you guys tonight. So just bear with the shadows and it's not much I can do about that unfortunately. We'll just have to make do with what we've got.
So with a little stem or is it trunk? What do you actually call this little bottom part of a mushroom? I'm not actually sure but I'm gonna go in anyway with a little bit of a mix of grey and brown tones. I don't want it completely brown and I don't want it completely grey so I'm just gonna mix the two until I am fairly happy with the result. So I'm just gonna go in now and just cover the whole thing in this grey three and then I'm going to be going in and adding sort of the shaded areas around the side. So I'll keep that highlight down the center and obviously it'll be a little bit darker just up the top where the cap is as well. So I'm just going to go in with my warm grey 6 and add some more shadows, first of all up on the cap here. Um, I find when I've got warmer tones, um, then instead of going straight in with the black, the grey uh, colours are really good to start adding some shading. When you have the warm colours, use the warm grey. If you have cooler colours like the blue tones and green tones, go in with the cool greys.
just going to go in and add a little bit of warm grey too to these little white dots on here and I will be going in I think with some Sakura Jelly Roll on top of those and just remove that top black line for these just to try and make them look a little bit more 3D so that's that's the plan anyway we'll see where we end up but now I went back in here now with my um, warm grey 6 I just forgot to show it again to the camera but that's the one I'm working on right now So I've been kind of mooing and eyeing a little bit about this background and I've decided I'm going to do a sort of gradient. So I'm going to start out with my May green and I'm going to work my way down making it darker as I go and then have my very darkest green tone down in the, um, the very bottom one. So I'm going to do two layers here now with the May green. And then the second one I'm then going to add in my earth green yellowish because it's just a touch darker and then so on. You'll see what I, how I'll do this. So I'll add in that earth green yellowish now on top of this one and then I'll add that one as a layer by itself on the third one down. And then I will put that one again for the fourth one but then add a second one. Uh, or a third, sorry, not a second one, a third color on top of that one. And that way I can kind of very gradually darken up that background without it being too obvious.
just going to go over here a little bit on that third to bottom row with that same color we've just been working with just like a touch I'm not going in too dark but it was a little bit lighter than the one above so I'm just darkening up that little bit more so I'm just making sure that the gradients are relatively good here now the next one the bottom one I want it a little bit darker so I'm just going to go in with that warm gray here and just sort of darken it up a little bit but because I got a relatively good layer of green down here I'm not really going to see too much of the gray it'll just be enough to darken it up all right I'm going to start now with these little areas on the side I'm going to just go around these little bits here and I'm just going to start with my darker my light um, yellow ochre just around that circle and then I'm going to just sort of lighten my way out towards the edges and I might also go in I'm thinking with the, my maybe the brown or the burnt ochre I'm not sure which one yet just to sort of darken up that very inner part where I'm coloring at the moment but I want that yellow ochre tone to really shine through so I'm going in with that first and then we can always darken things up afterwards I think I'm gonna go with the burnt ochre I think it will it still have that little bit more of the yellow tone to it I think it's gonna look really nice as a shadow shadowy area together with those other ochre tones so it just as you can see it's just enough just to darken it up that tiny little bit you don't need a whole lot if you don't sort of want it to be like crazy shaded so this is just enough to give it that little bit more depth
Alrighty, the time has come to bring out my black. So I tend to use this later on unless I'm sure I want an area really, really dark. Mainly because, and I've said this so many times before, if you go in with, with the black, you can't go lighter afterwards. You're better off going in with some darker colors in the same tones as you're already working with and then go in with the black at the end if you really really need it much darker. my sakura jelly rolls now I'm just going to go in here on the white areas of these little spots little toadstool spots and I'm just going to sort of get away those top lines and just make it look like there's a bit of a highlight on the top it's a bit like they're poking out they're obviously not sitting flush against. I don't know if you've seen a real toadstool, but those little white spot actually stands out a little bit. So I would expect it to have a little bit of a highlight on top there where the light is hitting them. So I'm just trying to, I'm not going too harsh. I'm going in relatively light handed, but I want a decent amount of white in there as well. So I think that sort of gives it a bit of a now that we got the shade underneath and that white highlight on top it just gives it that little bit more of a 3d feel i'm just adding some little white highlights to my sort of already highlighted areas and i'm just going to go in down the center of this little stem or trunk or whatever it is i still don't know what that is um but then i think we're pretty much good i'm just gonna go in i was trying to find my 05 sakura but it's hiding from me so i'm going in very very gently up the top here with this 08 it's a little bit heavier than what i want it to be so i'm just gonna go in with my finger and just sort of dab away a little bit of it and then i'm gonna go in now with my venetian red and just sort of go over it a little bit just to tone down the white a little but enough that we sort of don't see that too much of that black outline up the top it's a little bit faded so there we go that's a little bit better I think just gonna go in just darken up a little bit there and just sort of putting in those like last little finishing touches and then I think I'm going to go ahead and use that blender pen now. There are certain areas, especially that green background, that I can still see a little bit of white coming through, but I don't want to go in too much more with pencil. So I'm just going to go in now with that blender pen, not blender pencil, pencil, and just give it a bit of a rub, and that will mix out that color a little bit more, and it will get rid of most of that white tooth that's still poking through a little bit so as you can see it's just smoothing out that background a little bit more I think I'll probably use this um, around the edges as well that sort of um, red to um, to yellow ochre outer edge as well and then once I'm done I think we are all finished
there you go there is our finished little mushroom ticket or stamp i'm still not sure which one i hope you enjoyed following along with me this of course as you know is my favorite color palette and i hope to inspire you guys to use them a little bit more i know a lot of people find them a little bit intimidating i hope you guys enjoyed following along i wish you all a colorful day and i will see you again next time